In this video, we're going to review for the chapter 4 quiz. In this problem, we have a parabola, and it's asking us to find the vertex. Remember, the vertex is the midpoint of the parabola. So that would be here, and your vertex is a point. So that would be at 3, negative 1. This question wants to know the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the line that crosses through the middle of the parabola. So it cuts through the vertex. Here it passes through the number negative 2. So our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. For axis of symmetry, you have to write x equals because it's the equation of that vertical line that crosses through negative 2 on the x. Every single point on that line will have a negative 2 for the x value. This next question asks us to find the zeros. Remember, zeros is another name for x-intercepts. So here, this one has two x-intercepts. One of them's at 0, and one of them's at 4. This next question is asking us to find the range for the function shown below. Remember for range we use the letter Y and you look from bottom to top. So here if you look at the bottom of the graph it's going to keep going down. You look at the top it goes up to about 4. Since it's going down we're going to use the less than or equal to symbol and it's going down from 4. So the range or all the y values in this graph would be less than or equal to 4. If the graph had been going up, it would have been greater than or equal to, but because it's going down, it's less than or equal to. And if it had asked for domain, so like this here was a range, if it asked for domain, we learned that the domain for quadratic functions um, is all real numbers. And that's because this graph keeps going left and right. So um, it would contain any possible x value since it keeps going left and right. This next question also asks for domain. So the domain here, like we mentioned in the last one, you look left to right, but this one will keep going left to right. So the domain is going to be all real numbers. If it had asked for the range instead of the domain, you would look from bottom to top. So this one we would write y, and since the graph's going up, it would be greater than or equal to. And the y's here begin at 0. This next question wants to know the y-intercept. When you're given an equation, your y-intercept is your c value. So here the y-intercept is negative 6. This next question says we have a parabola y equals negative x squared plus 32x minus 41. And it wants to know if it opens up or down and whether it has a max or min. So here, since it's negative, it's going to be opening downward. And since it's opening downward, if you try to visualize it opening downward, the vertex is a high point. Since it's a high point, it's a maximum. The next question actually wants us to determine the vertex. So here we're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Our a is negative 3 and our b is 12. So I'm going to write negative and I'm going to plug in my b over 2. I'm going to plug in my a. 
If I work this out, I get a positive 2. But we want to know the whole vertex. So we also need to find the y value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 2 and I'm going to plug it back into the formula here anywhere I see an x. And I can start to simplify that. Here, if I go from left to right, I get 12. 12 minus 25 will be negative 13. So my vertex is at 2, negative 13.